Yo YouTube, what it do? It's your boy the Acronastronaut, aka John Blen, bringing you another Lorenzo the Lefty Moon Road to 99 My Career episode. And as you can see right here, I'm showing you my minutes, not just to show you how much playtime I'm getting, but also to show you that we traded Hassan Whiteside for Paul Millsap and Mason Plumley. Now this is an absolutely huge move. Don't really care, like, Mason Plumley's a pretty good center, so we're not missing out too much on Hassan Whiteside, but Paul Millsap is huge, man. Like, great pickup for us. Really good defender. Can knock down the three. Really good for mid-range as well. Stretches the floor. Is going to allow me to drive to the rack with, with even more authority now since I can run a pick and fade with Paul Millsap, Kelly Olenek, um basically like we're just we're a real threat in the east and the league in general now uh i think we might be winning the chip and you'll see from this gameplay i'm about to show you but before that brian sends me this weird text saying come to my office i say okay as soon as i say okay he says we should meet up at your place i end up going and checking my objectives uh, to see if I only have to do one and we'll get both of the conversations out the way But apparently I have to go to both which didn't really make sense, but whatever But let's go talk to Brian getting our own custom colorway shoe from Nike man huge So this will be my own shoe Well, not exactly you get your own custom colorway, but technically it's not a signature shoe Okay, but I only rock one colorway <sighs> Correct. Whatever colorway you decide on will be unique to you in the NBA. Not to mention that you'll get an added cash bonus for each game that you wear them. Dope. Okay, so what does he have to do to get his own signature shoe? That could be a future possibility if his colorway is something the fans get behind. Oh, so like proof of concept. Exactly. No problem. Which we have all the faith in the world that they will do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good, man. I'm ready to choose. Great. Oh, they're here. Here are the colorways for you to choose from. Colorway. So here it is, guys. We get six different choices for our custom colorway that we're going to get from Nike. Now, I already have a pair of uh, foam posits, I'm pretty sure, uh, and they're really clean. So... Didn't really want to do that. I was kind of thinking about it because because the the style of that shoe is is really really clean. But wanted to do something I didn't already have the Kyrie's. I don't want to I don't want to wear no Kyrie's. I'm a huge Cavs fan. He left us, so uh, not trying to wear no Kyrie's. We did get a pretty good pickup from trading Kyrie Isaiah Thomas, you know. But I'm gonna end up going with the air more up tempo the air on the side you know we like to fly man we like to fly so having the air on the side is a uh, pretty fitting for lorenzo moon now as you can see you guys get to customize the colors the 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 um fabric and and material of each place on the shoe which is absolutely amazing i actually really took my time making these shoes and you're gonna see I ended up fast forwarding it about 2,000 percent so it's kinda like a speed run of me making the shoe but I'll show you guys the finished product and I love how the shoe came out man I tried to be different wasn't trying to do the uh, team colors cuz I wanted to come out on the court and everyone know that I am like I'm the star of the team man like I run the show everybody else can wear the black red and white shoes I'm gonna wear my own thing and you guys are going to know that I'm I'm definitely uh, standing out on the team. Like, I'm not trying to fit in. I'm trying to stand out. Getting the pink, this pattern, I really like the pink pattern. Uh, pink is also a part of our team colors, I guess. So it kind of fit really well. And going with the black, white, and that pink pattern just absolutely like i don't even care if y'all don't like them i think they're fucking amazing dude those things look raw that looks that just wow that just looks absolutely amazing in my opinion then we have to give the shoe a name of course and uh 
pretty fitting. We're going to name them the Over the Moons, which I also thought was a pretty cool name. Once you go to them in your, uh, in your closet, it says Nike Over the Moons. And I just think, I just think that sounds amazing, man. Like, I think I did a pretty good job on my custom colorway. And I hope you guys think I did too. Sorry I had to fast forward so much into the future of my career. But as I said, I'm moving into a new place soon. Haven't really been able to make any videos since I'm in the process of moving. But once I get settled in, I'm going to be having three videos a week, four videos a week probably. So uh, look out for that, man. Excellent. We'll get these to you as soon as possible. We should be able to have them ready by your next game. Awesome. Great. What happened to your other rep? <laughs> I jump in and help out whenever a player starts working his way up the ladder, like you have. We work with a lot of players and athletes at the ground level, but only a select few here at the top. Okay. Uh, if you say so, man. Um, whatever helps get me to my signature shoe. All right, so after getting our custom colorway shoe, we have a game against the Pacers. We're going to put those bad boys on. The Pacers are one of the worst teams in the East, so we should have a good chance to show out and show off those shoes. We want people to, to get attention on these Nike over the moons. I absolutely love the name. I love the look of the shoe as well. Like, I think I did a pretty good job. But we want people to gain attention to the shoe because the more people who are interested in the shoe, the better chance we have of getting our own signature shoe instead of just a custom colorway. So we really got to show out this game. Um, I haven't had any. Co this is the first game where I equip contact dunks. I thought I was just supposed to get contact dunks um, acting like a noob. Wasn't really thinking. So I went and bought the contact dunks. So it, this should be a really, really big game. Also upgraded my ball handling. We're 77 overall. Ended up getting the Allen Iverson dribble move, so I might be really mixing people up this game. Remember, a new place ain't nothing but a place you ain't never been. Huh? I don't know. My granddaddy used to say it. We moved around a lot when I was a kid. Have a good game, DJ Road Warrior. You like that? DJ Road Warrior. All right, Boo Boo calling us a road warrior, so it looks like we're going to go out here and, like, just absolutely. Look at the shoes. Look at the shoes, man. The shoes look clean. I'm out here, the only person on the team wearing wearing different different style of shoes. We don't even want to watch the pregame. doesn't really matter. Uh, actually got a pregame ritual as well. It doesn't even matter if we're in Indiana. I'm getting on top of the scorer's table, pumping the crowd up, the away crowd. Hitting the backflip off the scores table in the over the moons. Uh, hopefully some people in the stands saw the shoe and were like, those are clean. I need to go pick those up in stores now. Go check them out. But going up against the Pacers, not really too worried. They're a pretty, pretty terrible team. And with the new additions we have, Paul Millsap, uh, Mason Plumley, I don't think we're really even going to have to worry about even coming close to a loss in this game. And right off the gate, trying to size people up with those new Allen Iverson dribble moves. Lorenzo trying to get to the rack. Ends up getting a contested layup. Relentless finisher. My, or I think my relentless finisher badge is up to a silver. So uh, trying to get it to gold. I think it's halfway to gold once we get that to gold. And I think I can get it to Hall of Fame with this shot creator slashing build. We should be just absolutely money from inside. Posterizer working on getting that towards silver uh getting the rebound right here going on the one man fast break nobody picks me up driving to the rack getting the reverse slam contact dunk the first contact dunk of my career like actual animation contact dunk and i get it on miles turner with the reverse slam so my badge pro progression is going pretty well right now uh actually have silver free throw ace as well so i'm not missing any free throws getting another board right here we just do it all hit him with the quick between the legs dunking on his head dunking on his head another contact dunk my i think my dunk in this in this game was one one attribute block from being maxed out so we have like a 90 something 90 something contact dunk and driving dunk which is absolutely nasty hitting the turnaround 
J perfect release right there looking like Kobe on fire already in the first quarter we're only up to about four minutes left driving finding Paul Millsap and like I said oh oh I thought he was gonna hit it right there I forgot I played this a couple days ago getting the putback slam first putback slam of my career as well we're getting a lot of firsts in this game getting up there looking down at the rim basically but what I was gonna say was Paul Millsap uh Paul Millsap is absolutely huge for us. I love how he plays. He plays great, great defense. When we play teams like the Pelicans, even though the Pelicans aren't too great, they have really dominating big men. Duncan on <laughs> whose head is that, man? I'm just taking heads, putting them on my mantle place. Like, like I'm putting them on my mantle. I'm trying to take heads. I'm a head hunter. Like, <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. Lorenzo Moon. Is just too good, man. He's making the he's making the free throw at the end of the first quarter. Look at this move. Look at this move. Wow. Wow. Looking like looking like vintage Kobe at the buzzer. The spin move jump shot fading away. Getting it off with about 0 .2 seconds left. They're gonna say they're gonna look at it, but I that's that's definitely good. Look at him putting his arms up. He's like, yeah, baby. Like Hype, hype the crowd up. Even though we're away, he's hyping the crowd up. We already know we made it. As you can see, fading away at the buzzer. We get it off at about point two, point three, And that's definitely, definitely going to count. So going into the second quarter, they played me the whole entire first quarter. We already have 20 points. <laughs> 20 points in the first quarter. They're starting to double team us, which is not a good idea at all because... We're just going to feed our, our our guys. We're just going to feed our guys, get some assists. As you can see on the fast break, getting the rebound, kicking it to Tyler Johnson, bang, from three, up 12 early, like already getting a double-digit lead, getting another rebounder. We love to push the break on the rebounds. Tyler, kicking it to Tyler Johnson again. He's going up with the teardrop and one. I see you, young fella. I see you getting the and one. Uh, perfect touch on the teardrop. Just look at it. Hits off the backboard, hits the front of the rim, and just goes right in. Tyler Johnson, not too bad. Uh, I wish he, he kind of gets a little scared shooting from three. He has he has a good jump shot, but he gets really scared. We're getting the steal right here. Kelly Olenek, I'm like, why not throwing it up and throwing it down? Alley, first alley-oop. Like, I'm telling you guys, you know, I, a lot of firsts for me in this game. Uh, and the fans are probably thinking that too. They had a terrible replay, 2K. I don't know what they were doing, so we had to go do the replay ourselves. But a lot of firsts for me, it must be the shoes, man. It must be the shoes. And right after that, this is the, literally the play. <laughs> right after that, just had a self alley oop, right? Just had a self alley oop. We're getting another steal, another steal, and I'm out. I'm out again, and I'm like, why not do it twice in a row? Two self alley oops in a row. Lorenzo Moon, another terrible replay, but I'll, I'll try to shorten the video. Let's not do another replay uh, of of the self alley oop. Getting another steal again. Our team is just playing crazy defense. The Pacers suck. Getting the and one on the windmill fast break dunk. Lorenzo Moon just can't be stopped. Now. I was honestly trying to go for 50. I was like, we got the new shoes on. I'm trying to go for 50, but they started double teaming me. So I'm kicking it to Mason Plumlee down low. Easy dunks, easy, easy assists. And now I'm starting to think we might put up a trip dub. Like, they're so worried about me since I'm getting buckets. Mason Plumlee is wide open. Constantly, <laughs> constantly wide open. And even when I'm not doing anything, my team is still eating. Mason Plumley driving baseline on on Al Jefferson, making him look foolish, getting the and one. <clears throat> Excuse me, and uh, and also making his free throws. So who is Hassan Whiteside? We don't need Hassan Whiteside. Like great trade. I think that's an absolutely great trade. Hitting Mason Plumley again. He's kicking it back to me. They're double teaming me once again, kicking it to Justice Winslow, and he's knocking it down. We can kill you from everywhere. This Heat team is a real problem. A real problem. Hitting Mason Plumley down low again. Easy dunk. Getting so many assists in this third quarter that a triple double is a very, very big possibility. Now, I was playing the whole third quarter, so they ended up subbing me out, putting me in in the fourth quarter, five minutes left. 
hitting Kelly Olynyk, who's just dunking all over somebody right there. And we're up 15 points. I have over 30 points yamming all over Miles Turner. Just, just get out the way, big fella. Like, if you see me coming in the hole in the paint, you just have to get out the way. I'm like Bron. Like, when Bron drives to the hole with his head down, you just have to get out the way. You you don't want those problems. You do not want those problems. And if and if you do sit in the paint, I can kick it to Dragic. I can kick it to Shammy. Shammy's a beast, man. Shammy is just an absolute beast. Getting a steal right here on the fast break and yet again hitting the windmill and one dunk on the fast break. Had deja vu right there. I thought it was literally the same play we saw earlier. Now we have... 41 points and are on our way to a triple double if we can get the assists and the rebounds but this team man we we are definitely championship contenders with lorenzo moon being able to drive at will uh it can also shoot the mid-range jump shot and then we have paul Millsap, the stretch four hitting the three giving me my 10th assist for the double double now all we need is those rebounds for the triple double gonna fast forward a little bit minute 40 left in the fourth quarter i'm getting the rebound off the missed free throw pushing it up the floor finding mason Plumley because once again they keep double teaming me they, they think i'm that big of a threat you guys are already down 20 something points man 20 something points just leave it alone and then right here play the game tj leave man hits a three in my face so i'm coming down the court and i'm like you really gonna hit that three in my face like Come here and catch this work. You can't be hitting no threes in my face, dude. Hit him with the Allen Iverson rhythm dribble and oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> oh my god, man. Windmill, windmill posterizer. Don't even know who it was on. We had to pause the game. I was flabbergasted, absolutely flabbergasted at, at what just happened. And just one of the nastiest dunks I've literally ever seen in my entire life. First of all, the Allen Iverson rhythm dribble with the hesitation and getting by him and then just the windmill slam. He turns his back, cowers in fear. Like once he sees how high up I am, he's like, I shouldn't have done this. Like I shouldn't have done this. I just got put on a poster that every kid around the world is going to have on their wall. Uh, getting my 10th rebound at the very end of the game. Very end of the game. And then driving to the rack, missing, getting another rebound just for good measure and getting the put back on the offensive rebound we're up what is that 23 points um, I'm trying to get 50 because I got 47 I wanted the 50 point triple double and I end up fouling out of the game uh, the crowd started cheering right here I didn't know if they were cheering like wow what an amazing game like or if they were cheering because they were happy I finally fouled out of the game I don't think they really should have been too happy because they're getting blown out by 23 points but nonetheless we had a great game doesn't matter if we fouled out had 47 points 47 points and a triple double would have been great to get the 50 point triple double but i'll settle for the 47 point trip dub that's just as good so going home with the dub first game in the custom colorway shoes absolutely phenomenal performance by lorenzo moon and as you can see you can see my badge progression here getting really close to that tireless score Difficult shots is really hard this year because mid-range jump shots are kind of difficult. Uh, post riser almost halfway there. Teardropper probably not going to get that for a while. Relentless finisher almost halfway to gold. And uh, free throw away. So, yeah, man, working on these badges, we should be a real threat once we get all our badges upgraded. But we got a post-game interview with Mr. Aldridge. So let's see what he has to say and what Lorenzo has to say about his performance, man. Gavin, thank you. Another double-double for you this year, points and rebounds. Now, is that something you're looking to do when you go out there? Man, I'm not looking to do anything because let me tell you something. I don't count stats. I'm a basketball player. I'm not an accountant. You know what I'm saying? Whatever my stats end up being, that's what it is. And I'm just happy with the numbers because, you know, at the end of the day, numbers are numbers. What really matters is how many wins we get. You have got a lot of wins because of what you did tonight. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, David. Thank you. Uh-huh. What did I say? 
Huh? I know. What I said. I know. Transition, Transition D, D leads to easy shot. Absolutely. And you, my young friend, killed it on Transition D. Hey, offense comes from defense. It's a great game tonight, kid. Thanks, coach. Gotta love it when a 35-year-old calls you kid. It's nothing like a win, y'all. Put us on your back all the way to the locker yeah, room, bro. You know? Hey, keep doing what you're doing. <sighs> So that is basically going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, going to check our phone after the game. Of course, got to look at the social media, see what people are saying about that phenomenal performance from Lorenzo, the lefty, Jabari Parker talking shit on social media, saying he's going to be a problem for us next game. Yeah, right, guy. Get out of here. We just dropped 47 points in a triple-double. You think you're going to stop, like, even get close to, to slowing us down? Like, you're not even anywhere near... Lorenzo Moon. So that's going to do it, guys. Uh, my birthday is actually coming up on Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to have a video before then, but if we could, could we get 20? Actually, 23 likes. It's going to be my 23rd birthday. Get 23 likes for my 23rd birthday. And as always, man, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys next time. This has been your boy, the Akron Astronaut. Stay fly. Peace.